Hi everyone, it's only me. So today I am going to do the nettle tea video for you and see how it turns out. So I'll flip you around and we'll get started. So I've already um, taken the nettles off the string. It's all nice and dry and I've popped it into these jars. Now what it does say is if you keep the nettles on the stalk, um, the, it's better for the nutrition element now some of the stalks did come off I was, as I was putting it into the jars but basically it stayed on the stalk as much as I could possibly do and I think they, what, what they mean really is don't crush it all up straight away so what I've done is I've left a few leaves out I haven't got a pestle and mortar so I've just popped it in this big cup as you can see and crushed it all up um, just done it between my fingers and thumb and because it's nice and dry it's crushed really easy so pan of water and spoil the amount of water I've used is literally that cup that's the cup that I use when I'm having a tea it says one teaspoon so we will Grab a teaspoon, and this is the little pot that I use when I am steeping any herbs, anything like that. So here we go. Oop, bit hard to do with one hand. Hang on a minute, guys. Sorry about that. One teaspoon, oh, that's a bit generous in it. One teaspoon in the pot, there we go. Lid on. And then we just need to wait for this to boil. So what we'll do while we're waiting for this to boil, I'll just go through some of the health benefits with you. So, I mean, you can find these online anywhere. Um, now luckily, once it's dried out, it doesn't sting. So I did have these somewhere anyway, but I just printed them out again. So this, as it says, this is evidence-based. So there's loads of information about um, the health benefits of what we would what we would associate as as weeds. Um, Weeds are the indigenous plants to the UK um, and they've always been used for hundreds, thousands of years as nature's remedies and there's so many benefits to using these instead of just digging them up and throwing them out of your garden. Um, this is why I'm in such a dilemma with the brambles. Yes, they look horrible, but again, they provide such the, the birds love them the bees love them they provide wonderful fruit with the blackberries anyway so the nutrients this is the nettles so vitamin a c and k as well as several b vitamins calcium iron magnesium phosphorus potassium and sodium fats linoleic acid linoleic Hmm, why did they put that twice? Oh well anyway. Palmitic acid, stearic acid and oleic acid. Amino acid, all of the essential amino acids. Chiamphorol. Quercetin, caffeic acid. Coumarins and other flavonoids. Beta carotin, lutein, lute, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing these wrong, luteoxanthin and other carotenoids. What's more, many of these nutrients act as antioxidants, uh, oh, antioxidants inside your body. You see, we need them. Damage caused by free radicals is linked to aging as well as cancer and other harmful diseases. Yeah, so these all work 
against the free radicals so we need them may introduce inflammation so inflammation is your body's way of healing itself the brain's not working i've had a bad few days sorry guys inflammation is your body's way of healing itself and fighting infections stinging nettle harbors a variety of compounds that may reduce inflammation uh, in another study, taking a supplement that contained stinging nettle extract significantly reduced arthritis pain. Well, that's perfect for me, because as some of you know, I'm absolutely riddled with arthritis. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to try at least one cup a day. Now, what it does, all right, so we're starting to boil, so pop this in. Now, where's my page? Hang on, where's my page? For this, I believe. Where is it? Steat five to twenty minutes with water that has reached a rolling boil. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll probably give it mm, ten, maybe fifteen minutes, and then just leave it. Anyway, right, yeah, so the inflammation. May treat enlarged prostate symptoms, so that's really good. Up to 50% of men aged 51 and older have enlarged prostate gland. Uh, interestingly, a few studies suggest that stinging nettle may help treat BPH. Let's see what else we've got. Right, let's just have a look at time. So it's 13.55, so I'll give it till... I'll give it till quarter past. I'll put, don't worry, I won't keep you waiting 15 minutes. Hair fever. Hair fever is an allergy that involves inflammation in the lining of your nose. Stinging nettle is viewed, viewed as a promising natural treatment for hair fever. It's fantastic. Wow. Approximate. Oh, may lower blood pressure. Approximately one in three American adults has high blood pressure. Oh, so this is obviously an American page. Um, high blood pressure is a serious health concern because blah, blah, blah. Let's have a look. Stinging nettle was traditionally used to treat high blood pressure. There we go. In addition, stinging nettle has compounds that may act as calcium channel blockers, which relax your heart by reducing the force of contractions. Wow. May aid blood sugar control. Wow. Both human and animal studies link stinging nettle to lower blood sugar. In fact, this plant contains compounds that mimic the effects of insulin. In a three-month study in 46 people taking 500 mg of stinging nettle extract three times daily, significantly lowered blood sugar levels compared to a placebo. Despite promising findings, there are still few to human studies on stinging nettle. You see, this is half the problem. Natural products, well, natural plants. This, I mean, the, the frustrating thing, natural plants are where medicine came from modern medicine came from in the first place yet the so little or so few studies on them in the modern day that they won't use them yet it's like well that's where medicine came from in the first place so why don't why don't they put some money well that that's the thing isn't it money the big farmers won't do it because then the big farmers will lose out on money and um, big farmers are in control of everything and that's part of what's going on right now isn't it I'll have to watch what I'm saying no coronavirus Ooh. other potential benefits <clears throat> stinging nettle may offer other potential health benefits including reduced bleeding Medicines containing stinging nettle extract have been found to reduce excessive bleeding, especially after surgery. Liver health. Nettle's antioxidant properties may, affect, may protect your liver against damage by toxins, heavy metals and inflammation. 
natural diuretic this plant may help your body shed excess salt and water which in turn could lower blood pressure temporarily keep in mind that these findings are from animal studies wound and burn healing applying stinging nettle creams applying stinging nettle creams may support wound healing including burn wound ooh I might have to add some to my balms even though my balms are fantastic for burns anyway Consuming dried or cooked stinging nettle is generally safe. There are few, if any, side effects. However, be careful when handling fresh stinging nettle. Oh, we know that. Um, these barbs can inject an array of chemicals such as serotonin, leukotrienes and formic acid. Yeah, we know that's what causes the sting. In rare cases, people may have... Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, these chemicals diminish as the leaves are processed, meaning that you shouldn't experience stuff yet. I know. Pregnant women should avoid consuming stinging nettle because it may trigger uterine contractions. So, yeah, guys, if any of you are pregnant, please don't be drinking this stinging nettle tea. Okay. And if you're taking any of these medications, this is a big warning. Blood thinners, blood pressure medication, diuretics, diabetic medication and lithium. Please do not try this tea. Big warning without discussing with your doctor first. I do not want to be responsible for anybody having any adverse side effects. Okay. I am not a doctor. It's just me trying things out for myself, okay, mainly for the arthritic pain. I am not on any of this medication. So there you go. How to consume it. So let's see what it says here in this one. Currently there is no recommended dosage for stinging nettle. The dried leaves and oh, the flowers as well can be steeped to make delicious herbal tea while its leaves, stems and roots can be cooked and added to soups, stews, smoothies and stir fries. However, avoid eating fresh leaves as their barbs can cause irritation. There's currently no recommended dosage for stinging nettle products. That said, studies suggest the following doses are most effective for certain conditions. Enlarged prostate gland, 360 mg of root extract per day. Allergies, 600 mg of freeze-dried leaves per day. If you buy a stinging nettle supplement, it is best to speak to your doctor before trying it. So there you go. I'll give it another 10 minutes so what I'm going to do guys I'll pause it for a minute or 10 minutes actually and I'll be back in a more well guys it's done um, green water as you would imagine and actually, it's quite pleasant. Um, yeah, I really quite like it. In fact, it's a lot better than I imagined it would be. In fact, I think what I might do is even add a squeeze of, squeeze of lime. It does say um, you can sweeten it with a bit of honey or what I would do actually is probably put a little bit of dandelion syrup in it. I do have some dandelion syrup. Um, one second, where's it gone? There we go. 
dandelion flower syrup. Now this is going to be next mission, making my own. Because it's expensive is that. And I've looked it up and it is actually quite easy. So yeah, so there you go guys. You can sweeten it with honey, dandelion syrup, or I might actually try a bit of lemon or lime in it. So yeah, it's kind of alright. So yeah, give it a try. See what you think. Take care everyone. See you later.